Hi guys, so this is Ujjwal Kumar Sen and you are watching Ujjwal Kumar Sen YouTube channel. So guys, gate examination is offered, right? Now, there are three categories basically nowadays I am getting. So first, who is going to get above 80 marks? So if you are in that category, then most probably you are going to get job or you are going to get premium institute for MTech, right? Second category, who is getting from 40 to 70 marks and third category, may be or may not be, I will qualify for it. So, especially for second and third category, this video is dedicated. So, first come to third category. If you are confused, if you're in dilemma that whether I'm going to qualify or not, then let me tell you one thing, GATE is not everything. Even you are not going to get, uh, you are not going to qualify in GATE examination, there is nothing uh, will affect your career. Even you can uh, get better things other than get right now. Let's come back to this point. Why I am telling you this? Because I have seen students, those constantly or consistently contacting me from last two years that sir, I did M Tech from this institute. I will not take name, but yes, those are also semi premium institutes, common institutes. Even for getting admission in those institutes, you have to score now 60 marks in GATE. So they have completed MTech. I'm talking about mechanical streams because usually students contact me from mechanical stream only. But yes, if you can do MTech from those institutes from different, I'll tell you different thing. Don't worry. I will discuss all things, but let's come to that point. What point I want to discuss you right now. So what is that? After completing MTech from those institutes, even then they are going here and there for job. That means it is proving even completing MTech from premium institutes, you are not secured. So you are going to invest two years. Obviously, you are going to get stipend, right? 12,400 per month. But what will happen after two years? Are you going to get job? So, if we'll talk about job per perspectives for Indian market, there are very less job after MTech. There are a lot of jobs after ITA, after diploma. As we are going, our imp as we are improving our education, number of jobs keep decreasing in industry. And in teaching field, you know better than me what is going on in teaching field. It is very, it is really difficult even after MTech to get forty thousand salary per month. Really difficult, right? Even there, I mean, in teaching field, recession is going on. I mean, lots of colleges are getting shut down. Why I am creating this video now? Because you have done with gate. So this is the time to know the scenario. So doing MTech is not the solution if you are looking for a job after MTech. It's not the perfect solution. Yes, there are students. Those students got good package even after MTech. But yes, for that you have to choose, you have to get right branch. Now let's come to how to choose right branch. I will discuss this thing in very brief. You know why? Because I know why you are watching this video. Right. Now guys, let's come to, if you are going for any institute, just ask existing or previous students. Those already completed I'm take from that institute, from that branch, which branch you got for getting admission. If you'll contact them, if you'll contact them, you will come to know the real information, whether they are providing placement or not. If someone, I mean, in average, see yourself where you stand and uh, compare with the stats. If it is fitting, if you are fit in that place that, yes, I can get job, I can get good job, then go for it. There is nothing can stop you. But at the same time, if you're thinking, oh, that is difficult. This is really difficult to get job. Then what I will suggest you, do one thing. Don't do MTech, my dear. If you're in fourth year, even you are dropout, first year dropout, give another year. Give another chance to yourself. Because... If you are less than 25 years, then you are having energy, you have capability to do something big. Right? So this is what you should do for third category and second category students. Because this is the current scenario after completing MTech. Even there are students, those are roaming here and there after even completing MTech from premium institutes. I know them. 
they are not even getting 30000 salary per month and nowadays if you are living in delhi if you wanted to hire a good to be two bhk flat you have to spend about 15 to 20000 even 30000 in good places right you can get two bhk flat in a very uh, very awkward place for 12000 right but i'm not talking about that so you can decide what you should do now maybe you're thinking sir you are telling us the problem this is a real problem nobody can help you in this problem until or unless you wanted to help yourself so first solution i told you if you're in final year or first year dropout you can give another year even your second year dropout you can give another year another year for preparation but simultaneously start preparation for rrbj sscj and fci don't leave these examinations because your ultimate aim to get good job and none of these jobs are bad you are going to get government job right and these i mean personally i like these jobs but anyhow i am not interested in job anymore that's why i am not even uh, preparing for the jobs i am helping you guys but yes teaching and preparation teaching students is different thing and preparation for any competitive examination is different thing right so don't mix it mixed up that i have very good knowledge and then i can crack any examination it's not like that i have good knowledge in a specific topic specific subject not all the subjects got it uh, even from where you are getting coaching maybe you're getting coaching somewhere any institutes that teacher will not have better knowledge than you if we'll see all the subjects that's like impossible right uh, but yes you you must you must be good student then you can compare but yes because of experience and expertise as well as presence level teachers always win the race this is true all right so let's come back to the another solution what is the another solution i must share with you what is that if you are getting private job now in good company go for it first solution and a second solution definitely i have already shared the first solution second solution third solution if you are not getting job and you have a little bit uh, you know yeah i can study then prepare for cat cat c a t cat even also you can prepare for jet x a t jet even you can prepare for mat but i will definitely recommend you get admission through cat but don't repeat that mistake what mistake you have done in BTEC while getting admission in any college, right? Now, this time I will tell you institute's name where you should get admission and which is the best branch for mechanical engineers. And this is my own analysis. Maybe you are exceptional. I don't know. But what I'm sharing with you, this is an average behavior or average analysis for all the students. This is right. So, which branch is the best there are two branches i'm going to share with you first marketing right Th second international business or in the second category i will tell you scm supply chain management you can go for these branches right because why i'm telling you supply chain management because it is re related to e-commerce or i mean e-commerce logistic system i must say i must say that because it's all about logic system now indian e-commerce is really increasing rapidly not only in clothing or even in food even in transportation so if you'll get into that business get into that category of job definitely you will have you will have bright future right whenever you are choosing any branch always think what would be the next what would be the future if you'll think like this, you'll be in better situation. Let me tell you one thing, guys. When I have studied digital marketing, at that time, people laugh at me. <laughs> because at that time, nobody, I mean, or with whom I was living, I was spending time. They, they did not realize that this will happen. But I realized that what can be the next. Because I have compared that thing with the mobile phone at that time. The internet and the mobile network. I have compared that what is happening, right? So I did that. Now next category thing is that what uh, you should understand the situation, the market situation, then choose the branch. 
now mba is one of the best branch um, for getting job and for getting i must say that for getting high paying jobs right so i hope you got some good information from my lessons so guys uh, what i guys can i can say somebody is waiting outside i hope i have shared all the information with you if you have get if you have any kind of uh, question you can comment below i hope you like the video so like the uh, then like uh, click on the like button share with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed 2020 i am going to i am going to help you to uh, to do better preparation right so i will put i will add more content i mean related to those already asked questions in gate 2019 i will share all the contents and also if you have any problem with any subjects you can ask me so guys thanks for watching thank you very much and see you soon in my next lesson bye bye and don't forget to watch my videos of physics chemistry in hindi of course if you are preparing for rbj right so guys bye bye see you soon